Yo, guys, it's Kyle coming at you from Bane Stone Reviews. Today, I'm sitting down with Joe Eddy, Chris Lightbody, and Spencer Garris of Bootyology. It sounds ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And it's one of the funniest things that I've seen in a long, long time. I'm so excited to have them here with me today. I have a few questions for them. Thank you Thanks. so much, gentlemen, for sitting down. Of course. Thanks for having us. Glad to be here. Yeah, of course. Here's the time that this is a paid promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I just, like I said, I want to get right into it. Uh, my first question is where did the idea for Bootyology come from and then how did it come to be? Um, the, the quick version, uh, we've been friends for over 20 years. Um, and, uh, in the early days, the booty boys used to perform around Hollywood. I used to go and watch them. I was a big time groupie. I thought it was hilarious. I thought the music was fantastic. And, you know, already, uh, uh, being, you know, a screenwriter and, and, and struggling filmmaker, I knew that this was a funny core and these characters would be perfect for a film. And, uh, you know, sometimes, you, you know, never let go of a good idea because 20 years later, it came to fruition. Um, but Chris and Spencer uh, definitely can talk about the, the actual or origins of the movies. Yeah. yeah, let's hear it. Um. The origins of the booty boys that At whatever whatever you have for me. origins of everything the movie you guys well I, it, I mean we 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 were a rap group in the early 2000s we were did you know it was funny and it was fun and and we were just doing something that uh you know i think we, we were having a good time and people enjoyed it um and then we kind of put it on on ice for a while and and uh and then in the you know in the round what <laughs> Plenty stuff was going on and we had a little bit of time and we were like maybe uh maybe we should get back to rapping about butts and so we started writing some more songs <laughs> what does the world need right now yeah, yeah. And and so, was. joe was like was at the same time thinking about making a movie of you know and yeah we had we had um we had some new music we had we had a a sort of plot for the album to okay. make sense why we'd been away for 15 years so uh when we were spitballing ideas for the movie we thought well can we use the plot that we came up with for the album for the movie and it was just ridiculous enough to uh, you know kind of all fall into place from there well it, it works fantastically well i i loved this movie i did not know what to expect going into it and i was in tears through half of it laughing so hard so uh kudos to you guys being able to pull this off and then more with that, I mean, we are living in a time where everything is kind of, you know, analyzed under a microscope and people have been canceled for lesser things, I suppose. And um, you guys managed to pull off a movie that has the potential to, you know, antagonize and piss off a lot of people. How'd you do it? Because it, it works so well. Well, you know, it's uh, like you said, it's a high wire. You're good at pissing people off. No, uh... <laughs> No, um, you know, I think at the end of the day, it you know, we did, we address some of it in the film. There's a, a consciousness to it where these characters are not just sort of blindly being idiots. You know, they're yeah. they're trying to learn, they're trying to be better, and so I think we have a through line of that where where these characters are are understanding the differences in the time since the last time they've been around, um, mm -hmm. and what's what's changed, and uh, and I think you know the. The reason that I think we were able to pull it off is because underneath all of the comedy, we were uh, we were very careful to add like a, a real heart to it so that it's about friendship. It's about uh, acceptance. It's about, you know, loving each other more than anything above above all. So even though, you know, these guys are ridiculous and they rap about bots and like it's all there, there's all this, you know, stuff that hopefully, you know, everybody laughs at um, underneath well, it. I think there, there's a real truth and honesty to it that uh, that people find heart, heart uh, heartwarming. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we, we had, I mean, the conversation, we really sat and had, you know, conversations about, uh, you know, the comedy and responsibility. And, um, you know, we didn't, I think we're self-aware enough to, to know what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, we, we made sure to i think we we did right by a lot of it and also you know the other thing too like being our own 
little bubbles. We also, in our own conversations, we weren't trying to like mansplain or or even white explain our way out of things. Like uh, you know, I think Alicia Young was instrumental mm-hmm. in uh, you know making sure that we we were on the right side of the joke because you don't want to be on the wrong side of the joke. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear. You guys make it very clear that you're not trying to aggravate people. Uh, that potential is just always there, especially when you have two guys rapping about butts for an hour and a half. <laughs> also, I don't think I tell these guys, maybe it's the wrong time, but I always wanted to do um, a movie about butt rappers and the other butt rappers weren't available. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's great. Well, I'm happy with with what you guys ended up making, even if you know the original guys weren't available. That's great. <laughs> um, they did all right. Yeah, yeah, they did pretty good. Um, <laughs> and then so I can't say enough about this film. Like my wife tells me, I have no emotion when I watch movies. I sit there stone faced, and like I said, I was in tears watch, watching this movie. I, I laughed so hard on nice. numerous occasions. Fabulous. Um, so I want everybody else to be able to watch this film as well. So can you guys tell me where everyone else? can get their hands on this or be able to watch this sure and uh it's available for pre-order now through apple tv uh starting on the 22nd august 22nd tuesday august 22nd it'll be available i think on all major uh rental platforms awesome yeah VOD, vod platforms and then uh and then yeah we also have the soundtrack if you if you watch the movie and you love the music you can go listen to the soundtrack on Spotify and Apple Music and that's either true, yeah. and that's streaming now on uh, on everything you can think. KK Box. KK I Box. was I was pushing for an NFT or maybe one copy like that Wu Tang album. And yeah, maybe there's, one person. There's one gold copy that we've uh, hidden in a secret location <laughs> along the Appalachian uh, Trail. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but guys, I, like I said, I know we didn't have a ton of time today. We only had about ten minutes to sit down and chat. Uh, I'm glad that I had the opportunity to. If I can leave you with one last question, um, just rapid fire. I usually get into more detail with this. Off the top of your head, each one of you guys, what's your favorite movie? Uh, Desert Island movie would probably be Blade Runner. Uh, I think I'm going to go Groundhog Day. Okay. Nice. Spencer's is Pretty Woman. Okay, we're good. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> so rapid. I would say Pulp Fiction, probably. Okay. Very, very cool. And guys, again, guys, thank you so much for spending some time with me. I love the film, um, and I'm excited to spread the word and have other people watch it as well. Thank you. If so you much. want us to talk more in depth, we'll gladly come back. You're now our greatest fan, so we will. Fan- <laughs> Fantastic! I would love to have you guys back on. Amazing. Sure. Thank you. All Kyle. right. Thank you. You guys have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Bye.